where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection You could be punished for expressing and celebrating your love towards your country. But that doesn't seem surprising when a foreign government rules over our country. Isn't it? Indians had to fight hard for their freedom and rights. And this struggle ended in 1947 when India got independence. A new government led by Indians took over. But how could Indians have ensured that future governments don't limit the rights and freedoms of the people by forming a democratic republic? <laughs> But what does that mean? A democracy is a system of government where people have the authority to elect their leaders. A republic is a system of government where the head of the nation is not a monarch. When you combine the two, you get a democratic republic. Now, how does the democratic republic protect people's rights and freedoms? Well, through a rule book called the Constitution. Think of it like a rule book of a sport. Only when every player abides by the rules can their rights and freedoms be protected and we can have a fair game. In a democratic republic, the government and citizens are the players and the constitution is their rule book. The constitution defines the powers of the government, the rights and freedoms of the citizens. Today, On the 26th of January in 1950 our constitution came into force and India became a democratic republic that is why we celebrate this day as republic day remember this setup can survive only if it has well educated vigilant citizens who respect the ideals of our constitution citizens with their eyes on the future where the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom My father let my country awake. जय yeah, yeah.